Hi, my name is Haley Larson and I'm from Bethel University. And today I'll be telling you about how tris pyrazolyl borate can be complex to functionalize standards type polyoxymetylates. Our project revolves around the synthesis of polyoxymetylates and their potential to be derivatized with organic ligands. POMs have demonstrated significant application in the area of redox catalysis because the tungstens are in their highest oxidation state. POMs are a class of discrete metal oxygen clusters that are comprised of tungstens, oxygens, and centrally located heteroatoms, designated in the figure as X. One class of POMs is the Kegan sandwiches, which are comprised of two XW9O33 groups sandwiching a range of metal cations. Our focus has been on the least studied of the four, the B beta type. Two XW9 groups sandwich a group of metals, and in this case, two internal tungstens with limited coordination, and two metals with three accessible coordination sites. We would like to take advantage of these sites by exchanging the water ligands for various organic ligands. With a bridging ligand, this could add organization and potentially selectivity in their function as catalysts. Our research has consisted of developing two approaches to create the same product. One synthetic scheme would prepare a POM by acidifying tongue state in an aqueous environment with the proper transition metal. The water molecules on the sandwich metals could be exchanged for ligands, but solubility in a range of substitution products can make isolation, purification, and characterization problematic. To circumvent this problem and prepare the desired product, we chose to incorporate the ligand by first preparing a coordination complex, followed by the preparation of the POM sandwich around the coordinated metal, thus limiting the possible products. Because there are three exchangeable water ligands, we chose a tridentate ligand which combines the face of the metal, replicating the same geometry as seen in the POM sandwich. The ligand we chose was trispyrazolyl borate, otherwise known as TP. Prior to starting the process of coordination, our ligand of choice, trispyrazolyl borate, needed to be synthesized from a borohydride and a threefold excess of pyrazole. The interaction of the borohydride and the pyrazole occurs without the presence of solvent and results in the release of hydrogen gas at high temperatures, which results in a product without the need for further verification. Similar to the variety of metals available to the sandwich within the POM structure, a range of metals are available to us here. We attempted to prepare both a zinc-2 and copper-1 complex due to the fact that these metals are diamagnetic, but the only one that seemed to be successful in the spectra was the zinc complex. The diamagnetic characteristics do not interfere with the function of the NMR, therefore all shifted peaks are shown. In a paramagnetic situation such as manganese or an oxidized copper-2, the paramagnetism interferes with the NMR and voids all signal. In the first row are the spectra of the ligand TP, and in the bottom row is the TP complex to zinc. The IR spectra has been zoomed in only on the area of interest. The NMR spectra have been zoomed in to show the observed peaks of interest. In the FTIR, we observe the BH peak at roughly 2400 wave numbers, which shifts to a slightly higher frequency of about 2500 upon coordination with the zinc, as noted in the literature. The peaks at 3150 to 3200 inverse centimeters are the peak or the CH peaks produced by the heterocycles. In the proton NMR, the three symmetrically equivalent pyrazole rings with three signals, all with equal integration, created a doublet, triplet, doublet splitting pattern. With the formation of the boron nitrogen bond, we do not observe an NH peak in the product like the one that exists in the starting material. When the ligand is coordinated, there is an evident shift in each of the signals. Zinc 2 plus was used for its diamagnetic properties to be observed in the NMR. In the carbon NMR, there is a slight change in the chemical shift of the peaks, providing evidence for the coordination while keeping our ligands intact. We expected three unique signals as presented, and similar to the proton NMR, we see a shift upon complexation. The next step is to show that the zinc TP complex can be integrated into a B beta type POM sandwich, as shown on the first slide. After this, the goal would be to derivatize the TP ligand such that it can serve as a bridging ligand between two POM complexes. This would theoretically generate a linear polymer with the repeating unit shown here, where the face of the sandwich metal is coordinated to our ligand and bridges to another facially coordinated metal on an adjacent POM sandwich. Thank you for checking out our digital poster.